Appreciate you all waking up early with us this holiday morning. Now the 4th of July, but I haven't gotten a full fourth day into July just yet. So I wanted to point out how much rain we've seen so far this month because it's fairly impressive. Look at this for the normal month of July. We usually see about three and a quarter inches of rain through just the first day saw over four and a quarter inches of rain, so almost a full inch over that and then through 5 a.m. this morning kind of adding on another almost four tenths of an inch. We're now up to almost five and a half inches for the month of July. So we have seen a lot of rain. That's just a uh, kind of put it all into perspective how much rain we've truly seen and still seeing some of the remnants of last night's rain on the streets at North 48th and Cornusker Highway but rather quiet out there right now with still some clouds but some clear skies now breaking through at portions uh, across town too. 68 degrees right now in Lincoln seems like we've lost the Beatrice sensor and we'll see if we can see that uh, come back throughout the morning but 61 degrees in York and Aurora 64 in Hebron not a bad way to start out the day and once we see a little bit more clearing I think we'll cool off by a few more degrees through the morning hours before the clouds come back and another chance for showers and thunderstorms before the morning is done. The forecasted highs for today. Some of us will struggle to see 80 and then I think we see right at 80 degrees here in Lincoln. So cooler for this time of the year. Certainly northwest winds will be around 10 to 25 miles per hour and kind of gusting upwards of 25 miles per hour. So here's a look at those winds out of the northwest right now. Anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour and you'll see some of that clearing just off to our west. That's what's allowed temperatures to cool down into the lower 60s. Meanwhile, we're still hanging in the upper 60s here in Lincoln, but fast warning to 7 o'clock this morning. I think we'll see some showers and thunderstorms in and around the tri cities that'll track east, and so we'll see maybe a stray uh, rumble of thunder or two out of this, a brief heavy, heavy downpour, and then this will quickly move on. Still some uh, scattered activity in the area by about 11 a.m., but then we're clearing out cloud cover wise and uh, in terms of some of those storm chances too, moving well off to our east. So by this evening through much of tonight should be a fantastic night for some fireworks as we look towards uh, midnight. So the good news is too, even with the risk of severe weather, that's been trimmed back further to the east. Now people just under and around the uh, Missouri River see that chance to uh, maybe see a storm or two on the stronger side and borderline severe, but all of us should be rather quiet, especially heading through the second half of this holiday day. Now talking about Friday, it looks to be a great day there too. Lower 80s in the forecast, mostly sunny. We will have some storm chances return by Saturday afternoon. Right now it looks like the whole state highlighted under a marginal risk, so maybe a storm or two again borderline severe for Saturday afternoon before a small chance on Sunday and look at how next week is shaping up to be should be a fantastic week and hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, I'm already thinking of what plans I want to make next week to enjoy this great weather we're going to have. <sighs> yeah, middle of July, you don't see a lot of weeks like that where you don't see consistent storm chances, so hopefully it does stay that way. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Jessica. And coming up in trending.